Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Christine Blasey Ford will not pursue further action against Brett Kavanaugh. Today's actions culminated in weeks and months of deliberations. The Senate has voted, and Justice Kavanaugh is now a member of the United States Supreme Court. But it was not without controversy. The vote was narrow. It was 50 to 48 something that was found out just yesterday after swing Senate voters made their announcements about how they would vote. Now, Judge Kavanaugh's accuser has spoken out. The Daily Wire reported. Lawyers for Christine Blasey Ford say she will not take steps to pursue further action against Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, whom she accused of sexually assaulting her when they were both minors. Ford's attorney Deborah Katz told CNN's Dana Bash on Friday that her client will not seek Kavanaugh's impeachment should he be confirmed to the Supreme Court. She also indicated her client does not regret coming forward with her allegations, which have not been corroborated. Bash had asked Katz and Ford's other attorney, Lisa Banks, whether Ford would seek to have Kavanaugh impeached if Democrats regained control of the Senate after the midterm elections. Professor Ford has not asked for anything of the sort, Katz said. What she did was to come forward and testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee and agree to cooperate with any investigation by the FBI and that's what she sought to do here. Banks said that Ford just wanted to provide her story to the Senate Judiciary Committee, and that she has no regrets for doing so. I don't think she has any regrets. I think she feels like she did the right thing, Banks said. And this was what she wanted to do, which was provide this information to the committee so they could make the best decision possible. And I think she still feels that was the right thing to do, so I don't think she has any regrets. Ford said that Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed when she was 15 and he was 17, attempted to remove her clothes, and put his hand over her mouth when she tried to scream. She named three other people who were allegedly at the small gathering where this occurred, but all three said they had no memory of such a party. Ford told no one of the alleged assault until couples therapy in 2012, when Kavanaugh's name was being circulated as a potential Supreme Court pick if Mitt Romney won the election. Then, she only said she was sexually assaulted by someone who is now important in Washington, D.C. She would later tell her husband and friends that it was a federal judge. She didn't name Kavanaugh until summer 2016, when his name appeared on lists of President Donald Trump's potential Supreme Court picks. Her attorneys made no mention of filing a police report against Kavanaugh, as many have stated that there is no statute of limitations in Maryland, where the assault was alleged to have occurred. Ford is a professor of psychology who works at Palo Alto University in California. She previously served as a research psychologist at Stanford University in their School of Medicine. Her work specifically focuses on designing statistical models for unique research projects. Just a month ago, she publicly alleged that Justice Kavanaugh tried to rape her while she was at a party in high school. This allegedly took place in 1982 in Bethesda, Maryland. Ford testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee regarding her allegations and she answered questions from both Republican and Democratic senators. Shortly after her testimony was given her lawyers refused to hand over her therapy notes, which allegedly corroborate her story. The Federal Bureau of Investigation did not question her during their investigation and during that process, they did not turn over those notes. She personally said she was in favor of the investigation. After her testimony, Senator Jeff Flake voted to advance the vote on the nomination past the committee but indicated he would not support the nomination on the Senate floor without an investigation from the Federal Bureau of Investigation. After the investigation took place Senator Flake gave Justice Kavanaugh his support. As did Senator Susan Collins and Senator Joe Manchin who were also considered Swain voters. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.